Welcome to badminton, the world's fastest racket sport. Shuttles have been clocked at over 200 miles per hour. Badminton is a racket sport played by either two opposing players, singles, or two opposing pairs, doubles. There are typically five events, men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles, where the pair is composed of one man and one woman. Each player or pair takes position on either side of the net on a rectangular court marked on the floor as shown in the diagram to the right. Our courts are marked in yellow lines. There are eight courts in Gym 10. We will be playing doubles, so we are using all the doubles, boundary lines, and service lines. Service is delivered cross-court or diagonal. Service must land on the correct half of the court, must land on or beyond the front service line, must land within the double sideline boundaries, and must land on or in front of the short service line or the double's back service line. This service box is short and wide. In the example below left, the server stands in the light purple box and serves into the dark purple box, short and wide. Service is also shown by the diagram to the right. If the service does not land in the correct service box, it is a fault and a point is awarded to the receiving team and they shall serve, which is rally scoring. After service, the entire court is in play. A badminton doubles match is a match consisting of the best of three games to 21 points. Every time there is a serve, there is a point scored, which is rally scoring. The side winning the rally adds a point to its score. At 20 all, the side which gains a two-point lead first wins that game. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. The side winning a game serves first in the next game. Next, I will show you the following animations so you can understand the rules of badminton doubles. In badminton doubles, when you're, you serve, the shuttle or bird has to land between the short service line and the long service line. If the score is even, such as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, the player will serve from the right service court. The right service courts on both sides are highlighted with the white square, although they don't include the, the double side lines. It should. When you serve, you serve to the opponent in the diagonal direction. The serving side will lose a point if the serve lands on the opponent's side directly opposite the server. If the score is odd, such as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, the player will serve on the left service court. Left service courts on both sides are highlighted in, with white squares. Again, you always serve to your opponent in the diagonal direction. The serving side will lose a point if the serve lands on the opponent's side directly opposite the server. As I mentioned earlier, when you serve, we will name this the first hit labeled 1, you have to hit the shuttle so that it lands between the front service line and the long service line. On the second hit, or any following hits, the bird can land anywhere on the court as long as it stays in bounds. If the bird or shuttle lands out of bounds and doubles, this means the bird has landed outside the doubles lines as highlighted with red blinking lines in the video. Next, there will be an animation of Badabin doubles game. It's between the red team and the blue team. Hopefully, this will give you a better understanding of how to play Badabin doubles. The red team has won the toss and decided to serve. The score is 0-0. Let the game begin! The red team player with the star will serve from the right service court because it is 0-0 and it is an even number. The player will serve to the opponent in the diagonal direction. On this rally, the blue team failed to return the serve and the score is now 1 for the red team and 0 for the blue team. Players on the red team now switch to different service courts. The player with the star continues to serve from the left service course because their score is 1 and is an odd number. Whenever the serving side wins a rally, the same person serves again. The serve does not alternate between the partners. It stays with one person until the opponent wins the rally and gets to serve. Players on the blue team stay in the same service courts. They don't move. The red star player serves and wins another point. It is now 2 for the red team and 0 for the blue team. Players on the red team switch service courts again. The red team player with the star now serves from the right side because their score is 2, and it is an even number. 
the blue team wins a point from this rally. Why? As I mentioned earlier, the service has to land within the service lines. Since the bird landed beyond the service line, this cost the red team a point. Now the serve goes to the blue team. The blue team will serve from the left service court because their score is 1, which is an odd number. Just to reiterate, players serve from the left service court if they have an odd number and the right service court if they have an even number. Blue team player with a star serves. However, the red team wins a point from the serve. Why? Because when serving, the server has to serve to the opponent diagonal from, the, from them, not the opponent directly across from them. The score is now three for the red team, one for the blue team. So serve goes back to the red team. Since the score is three, it is an odd number and will serve in the left service court. And the red team player with no star will serve now because they have not served yet. He serves the board too light and it lands before the front service line. Remember, as shown, the bird cannot land in the red shaded areas, so the blue team wins a point from the red team's mistake. The score is now 3 for the red team and 2 for the blue team. Blue team will serve for the right service court since their score is even, and the player with no star serves because they have not served yet, and the score is even. They win the point after a rally, and the score is 3 all. Since blue team is serving and wins the rally, the blue team player will switch to the other service court and continue to serve. Again, in doubles, the serve does not alternate between partners. It stays with one person until opponent wins the rally and gets the serve. Players in the red team stay in the same service courts. They don't switch. Blue team serves and scores a point for this rally. The score is now three for red and blue four for the blue team. This will continue like this throughout the game. Hope you have fun. Faults. A fault by definition is when a violation of the rules occurs during the game or rally, causing the point or rally to be over. Faults include hitting the bird twice in a row, contacting the serve above the waist or above the wrist, letting the bird land on the floor within the boundaries, hitting the bird out of the boundary lines, failing to return the bird over the net, failing to serve the bird over the net, or if the bird contacts anything besides the racket, like a person, or the ceiling. Service must be contacted below the waist. The racket head must also be below the wrist. Service can be delivered forehand or backhand. The diagram to the right shows incorrect and correct racket head placement compared to the wrist. The backhand serve. The bird is held by the feathers in the non-racket hand with the cork facing down. You use the backhand grip. The thumb is placed on the back side of the racket. The serve must be contacted below the waist. Serve should just push the serve over the net. A good double serve is low and close to the net. Hi, I'm Nia Tran and I'm the coach here at East Bay Badminton Association. Today we're going to talk about the short serve. Where you would stand to serve, you would stand closer towards the front baseline with your right leg forward. To do the backhand short serve, start by having your backhand grip, meaning the thumb is on the flat end of your racket. Start by positioning the racket's head face down in front of you, like so. Next, put the birdie in front and in the middle of the racket. Make sure that you hold it by one of the feathers of the bird so you have good control and feel of the bird. Once you put it in the middle, the serve starts as soon as you go forward with your racket, meaning you can do anything else before that, but as soon as it goes forward, it has to be in one smooth motion and it cannot stop. So from here, push forward gently with your fingers and over the net. Forehand service. We will be using the forehand grip. Some call it a handshake grip, but notice the V it makes between the thumb and the pointer finger on the side of the racket handle. Start with feet apart and the non-racket foot forwards. 
Hold the bird by the feathers with the cork down and start with a racket back. Drop the bird and then swing, keeping the racket head below the wrist and below the waist. To do the forehand short serve, start by positioning your right foot in the back and your racket face down. From here, hold the bird with one feather in front of you, like so. Make sure the cork is facing downwards. From after that, you'll drop the birdie first, swing forward, and make sure the contact point is below your waist with the racket pushing forward, like so. For the forehand serve, same concept. Make sure the contact point is below the waist. A general tip for beginners for short serves is when you begin, aim for the white tape on the net. This way you'll get your practice out and you'll get to practice getting it right over the tape.